yo, we got this new news about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2. You know what I'm saying? Basically, they just officially confirmed that it's in development. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy, Joy Raptor, before we react to this video and everything. You know what I'm saying? I haven't reacted to Joy Raptor in a, in a good little while. It's been a good little while, man. About to get back on my shit. You feel me? All jokes aside, though, um, this is exciting as fuck. And you're just gonna go ahead and hop into it. But in the title, it says, but there is also bad news. Nigga, what does that mean? Let's get into it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. A Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order sequel is officially in development, Bet. but I can confirm, so great news, let's talk Bet. about that. Plus we learned about another Star Wars game as well. It's not all good news though, we recently talked about why a new Star Wars game in 2020 could happen, but now we got an update on that that really makes you question if EA will still have the exclusivity license after 2023. So really a ton to discuss, Ooh, that's awesome a good. if you could leave a now like I think on about video it. as it shows your support. And let's go. First up, I want to highlight the sponsor of this video. It's the free-to-play RPG Raid Shadow Legends that okay. I will go back to to rank up my party and progress. Get that money! And fight the got to! Clan boss. I understand. And I also got a pretty good arena <laughs> team. And with that, you can fight champions from other people. And really, a lot of area of effect skills are the way to go in this activity. Okay. And Bantwin is really fun. one of my star characters right fun. now. And I'm upgrading him a lot with the amazing gear that I found. Channel out a lot too. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring Raid. The That's video. what the game is and called. Let's Raid. Get back into it. Jason Schreier from Kotaku has done some pretty impressive reporting on what is going on behind the scenes at EA with the Star Wars games. It all started with a story behind the ambitious Star Wars game that was in development mm. at Fitzroy Games before that studio got shut down. And this is the only footage that we have of that Star Wars project. What the that fuck? The they showing footage? Under the leadership of Amy Hennig, who worked on the first of three okay. games. It's well, a new new Star Wars game. Canceled, and the studio is oh, no shit. more. EA Vancouver would use the art assets from that game to create their own open world Star Wars Ooh. game. Orca that then also got cancelled in early 2019 Damn! of a smaller scale Star Wars project that is now aimed for much sooner, likely late 2020. So that was the final update that we got in Damn! early 2019, but now we learned, thanks to Kotaku, that that game was also cancelled because the development timeline was never realistic. Damn! And they started in early 2019 and wanted to release it at the end of 2020, so in like a year and a half. It was supposed to be a spin off of the Star Wars Battlefront series with open world elements. Mm. Sounds interesting and pretty cool, but yeah, we should not expect that game anymore. That sucks. Luckily, there's still good news though, because at the end of the article, Kotaku confirms that there are two new Star Wars games in development. At okay, EA, it better be some a heat. Sequel to Jedi Fallen Order at Respawn, so awesome. And a smaller, more unusual project at okay. EA Motive in Montreal, Canada. Okay. They first helped with Battlefront 2. I mostly think they did the campaign. So got three, but I'm curious what they are working on right now. Maybe something for the Nintendo Switch instead of a big console AAA game. That would totally be a more unusual project, right? So pretty interesting that EA does not seem to work on a new Battlefront game and instead will likely support Battlefront 2 even more, mm -hmm. but that they are working on a new Jedi Fallen Order. And thanks to US Gamer, we now As they should. Spawn did have conversations to maybe delay the game to polish it even more. I played the game on the Xbox One X and still had many frame drops and performance issues and I think they were even worse likely on other platforms. Like it totally took you sometimes out of the experience. It was a conversation we had and we decided that we wanted to get the game out there. We wanted to get it, you know, being out for the holiday. Right. Makes sense, of course, because games sell really well during the holiday period. And a launch of so. the Star Wars game around the new movie and the Mandalorian show helped with the sales too. But yeah, let's hope that the sequel releases in a better state than the original. And that we still have some Bro. updates coming to the original to improve the overall quality. But yeah, then we're... Bro, listen, 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 listen. The new one has to be up to par before the shit drop. It just have to be, bro. I'm sorry. That's a fact. That shit gotta be up to par, man. It just have to be, man. Just, just keeping it a stack. Keeping it a buck. <laughs> 
get back into it. Pleasing the game in the holiday period, while it could have used some more time, gives us a great idea of when we can expect Jedi Fallen Order 2. Mm -hmm. EA really likes to release these big Star Wars games around a movie, like the first Battlefront was released around Force Awakens, right. and then Battlefront 2 was released around The Lost Jedi. It's smart marketing. Saw Jedi Fallen Order around Unlike Marvel's the Avengers. Of Skywalker. <laughs> the next Star Wars movie will be out at the end of 2022, and that would give Respawn three years to develop this sequel, and that should be enough. High it Republic will also be, be still before the EA and Star Wars deal can end in 2023, because in 2013 we learned that the deal would last for 10 years. But yeah, mm. I have a hard time believing that Disney wants to continue with that exclusivity deal. At the DICE Summit, where a ton of game developers from all over the world come together, Disney said that they want developers to tell original stories with their popular franchises. So it seems like they want all sorts of developers who have ideas Avatar? Or oh, they are making an Avatar game. Forward instead of having one deal Disney. with just one publisher. Because giving the Marvel properties to other developers like Insomniac with Spider-Man and right. Iron Man VR and Square right. Enix is doing Marvel's Avengers, it seems to work. EA only released three big Star Wars games in more than six years of having the license, and they canceled just as many. The deal means that EA right is now. the only publisher right now that can make AAA console games. But even without the deal, it could still mean that Respawn can continue to work on Star Wars, but just also that Ubisoft, for example, can make an awesome open-world Star Wars game. No! I, think I don't know about that. Capable. Maybe. The Division Studio is not ah, only hard at work on an Avatar game, so hmm. also a Disney property you that saw? is pretty far no. in development. And no. if that likely turns out well, Maybe. then I would not be surprised if they got a chance to work on a Star Wars game too. I would honestly, what developers yeah. you want to work on a Star Watch Wars game? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally think that From Software would be very awesome. Sure, Jedi Fallen Order was already kind of Souls inspired, but if From right. Software would make it, it would likely be more of an RPG like Dark Souls with collectible gear and stuff, and even more challenging, of course, right. than Jedi Fallen Order. I think that would be really great, but I'm curious to hear what your pick would be in the comments down below. It will be interesting to follow the EA Star Wars deal, and maybe Disney is already preparing for the future. There was namely a rumor that there would be a Knights of the Old Republic. Yes, bro, I, that would be great. Right now, Jason does not want to report it. on that rumor yet, saying that he's not 100% sure about that one yet, and that he will still want to do some reporting on the KOTOR mm -hmm. rumor. I will say this, though. If it's really happening, it's not at EA. Right. Very interesting, right? So maybe while other developers cannot make new Star Wars games, maybe the deal does exclude, like, remakes of classics. Either way, it would be awesome if they found a way to re-release those two classics with modern graphics. We at least know that a sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is coming, and that ending leaves a lot of room for amazing adventures with these characters. When we know more about Jedi Fallen Order 2 or updates to the original, then I will of course let you know here. Totally subscribe if you are new to be the first to know when the news drops. I will also be doing a new mod video very soon where I also go over the, the fuck was that a mod? You can send me via Twitter at your raptor. So keep it locked for that. A like on the video Dark would be side. super appreciated. And check out my previous the video be crazy. on some of these awesome mods that I discussed before. Shout out to Joy Raptor, now, bro. I will speak to you next time and goodbye. Shout out to Joy Raptor, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, this is going to be great. This is going to be tough as fuck. I'm just excited for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2. That's what I'm really excited about because that story, it didn't end properly. You know what I'm saying? It ended great. Like, the ending was great, but it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't, I don't even know what to say. It just didn't end correctly. You know what I'm saying? It needed, it needed something else. It's missing a piece, obviously, because they're making a second game. So, you know, cliffhangers and shit. There we go. It was, it was sort of a cliffhanger in that month. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they gotta just, they gotta be on their shit. No, no fucking, no mess ups, no glitches in the beginning of the damn uh, uh, open day. You know what I'm saying? Release day. They can't, they can't do that, man. Y'all gotta be on point with the game, have everything down packed. If you enjoyed this video, uh, want more content, uh, definitely leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please turn on notifications to get notified when I upload a stream. Ah, no stutters that time, bro. That shit was lit. You know what I'm saying? You see me growing a beard in too. I might, I might keep on growing it in. I don't know yet. I might. We gonna see. We gonna see. But hey, man, it's your boy Joseph Woody, man. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out. Hey. Sharp as ever. Oh, hold on, hold on. This shit late.
Why does this look like a dreams game? Ooh! Oh, they even got the joint. So they got the seasons, the future and the past. 